Hello everybody, welcome back to some more new Star Socket 5. Today, it's a great day, we're going to play against Manchester City. It's a Manchester Derby. The only thing that are... No, the only game that are more, you know, hateful. Or hateish, full of hate, is the games against Liverpool. Disgusting. Anyway, Manchester Derby. And also, the two top teams are playing against each other uh, in the league. That's actually nice. Hopefully it will be entertaining both for me and for you and for the people watching the game on the... Yeah. On the spot or whatever whatever you call it. Yeah. So let's see. And you drink. Let's do this. Play. So it has begun. Yeah! That's a great start. Anyway, I must just say shortly um, in the beginning that... It's been great. I've been playing some some towns, and I've got quite good response on the yeah that series actually. So I must yeah nice. I must thank you for yeah watching those videos and actually liking them. I guess hopefully you did at least. So so I've been playing a little bit more today, and uh, it's quite entertaining. It's going forward. It's going slow, but yeah, it's going. Um, so. You'll be seeing more of that in the future, even though uh, I will still play New Star Soccer 5. Maybe not as much though, because I mean, seriously, there's <laughs> not a lot going on. But um, it's nice to play whenever I want to. Yeah, talk a little bit about whatever I feel like talking about. Yeah, look at this. Going the shit out of Manchester, shitty. Yeah. That's actually nice. I, I did meet some persons from Manchester um, when I was in Magaluf last summer and most of them were liking Manchester City so uh, yeah haha <laughs> yeah! they wouldn't have liked this but I like it indeed no but he went kinda of crazy when City won the league and he went in one of them he's like the football fan among them. The other ones, they like football, but he's crazy. He's, yeah. <laughs> and when they play in the Champions League and they're like in the third place, he's like, God damn it, they lost again. Oh boy, they could just as well finish fourth because then I won't have to watch that goddamn Europa League in the uh, Thursday nights in the cold and shitty November. So he's, yeah, he's kind of. I don't know what to say really, he, he likes football a lot, he likes City a lot, and he hates Manchester United a lot, yeah, he's silly a lot, yes, anyway I don't care because right now I'm in United, yes, but as a matter of fact I heard that most people in Manchester they actually like Manchester City rather than United because yeah! United has become more like a, a team that people around the world like. And uh, meanwhile, people in Manchester they, they like Manchester City. It's like Juventus in in Italy, because people in in Torino they actually like Torino rather than Juventus. Uh, so it's kind of kind of the same there. But yeah, and I'm a person of the world, so I guess I like. <laughs> um, I prefer. Yeah, Juventus and United. But actually, when it comes to Spanish football, I don't like either Barcelona or, or Real Madrid because they're all silly. To be serious, to, to be honest, I, I used to like Barcelona because they play beautiful football. But it's kind of boring. I mean, look at their games; they're always winning. It's not fun to watch. I want, you know, games that could end a little bit, you know. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want teams to be so so goddamn good. I want it to be exciting and and all that. I mean, watching Barcelona in real life is like watching me in this game, winning every game with like five to zero or something. That's not fun. Well, well, life goes on anyway. Oof! Hit the post. This might be a good game to actually get a red card in. I think so, but. We'll see. Ooh, close, but no cigar. Whoever's smoking cigars nowadays, anyway, I don't know. Oh my god, he tripped me! Referee, that's a fucking red card. 
Yeah, let's see. Maybe I can score yet another goal. I hope so. Nope. Oh my god. It tripped me again. What a silly douchebag. Joe Hart. God damn it. Pass it. Yeah, pass it all. Oh my god. I got a second yellow card. Oh. Suspension. That's not good. Well, 10 minutes ago, if they lose these, this game, they are fucking worthless. Um, yeah, that was a great game to get my first red card in, I guess. Mm. Let's move on. Yes. My boot sponsorship contract has expired. Whoops. Hopefully I can still get a new one even though I got a red card. 5 to 1. Good, good. You're rating 9.1. That's still good even though we got a red card. IFE. Is that... I... Let's see, sponsors minus five. The fans like it though, they're like, Yeah, beat up those goddamn Manchester City douchebags. Yes, and I'm so famous. Well, I can take that. Yeah, this is a fucking Swedish team. EFL Sport, they actually won the Swedish league this year. Um, <laughs> that's kind of nice actually, I'm going to Sweden, I'm going to fucking Borås and playing football. As you can see, Borås Arena. Yeah, this is nice. Let's kick some goddamn ass. I need to buy some boost now because I don't have any sponsor contract. Hopefully I get one, a new one soon though. Yeah, let's hope so. Play. Yeah, let's go to fucking Borås and kick some goddamn ass. If you watched uh, the World Cup in 2002, you had a player in Sweden who scored a beautiful free kick against Argentina. Yes, yes. Watch on YouTube, uh, Sweden Argentina 2002, and you'll find that free kick under Svensson. He played in England for a couple of seasons, and then he went back to Borås or to Elfsborg, his home team. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's still playing there. He's like 38 years old, but he's still one of the best players in the league, and he's still doing quite good in the national team. But nothing can stop me, seriously. And one. Weird thing about this team though, I don't know how many of you have heard about it, but um, Artificial Grass, do you know about that? I don't know if you do actually, but Elspor is playing on it. It's, it's alright, I mean, we can live with it even though uh, international teams, they don't really like it, but yeah. They play on Artificial Grass because it's gotten cold up here in Sweden, so it's really expensive and really hard to take care of real grass. And you know, you won't get it ready to play on until. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Until. Um, in May, maybe. Yeah, April, May. And the Swedish league begins in Mars because we play during the summer instead of the winter because it's got and cold. That's understandable, I hope. So, they, they use artificial grass. So, basically, I should be playing on artificial grass, but obviously, the game. Um, yeah, they does not really care about that. Because they're still. Marks after the slight tackle. Tackle. Sorry, my English isn't really good right now. Um, and it shouldn't be that on artificial grass because obviously there is not no dirt beneath the grass. It's like a carpet. Yeah, it's still, it's still it, it works to play on. I mean, could have been better. Could have been worse still. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they just switch it until this game. You know, they bought some real grass and rolled it out on Borås Arena. Well. It's actually kind of, what do you say, we are not too good for them, I mean it's kind of even in a way, but we're scoring the goal so that's nice, yeah, nice, oof, I'm doing a great game right now, yeah, good, so we're in the lead, 3-0, to zero. all thanks to me again, yeah, but yeah, I mean, Swedish teams and football, this isn't really true because we haven't had a team in the Champions League in like 12 years so I have no idea what Elspor is doing there yeah even though they won the league and they you know Swedish football is becoming better so it won't be too long until we actually do have a team in the Champions League I mean they will be worthless but we still getting a team there it's quite important because then you'll get some money and money is important to get even better I mean Seriously, it's been 12 years since we had a team in the Champions League. Ah, oh, that's that's just silly. It is. Compared to to Norway, I mean, they had a team Rosenborg. They went, they qualified for the Champions League like 16 years in a row. 
because they won the Norwegian league six years in a row and everything. And then in Denmark you had Copenhagen, and they went to like the quarterfinals and everything. So Swedish football is kind of retarded, not as retarded as Finnish football, but still. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean the national team is it's good, great. It's it's actually really good. Um, maybe it's it's about as good as the. Danish football team, national football team, I, I guess they want to, they think that they're better and we think that we are better, but if we are, to be honest, we are about as good, I think, right now at least. I mean, we haven't won a European Cup gold as they did in 2002 in Gothenburg, um, but yeah, we have a, a World Cup silver, yeah, in 1958 or whatever it was, that was also in Sweden. By the way, mm. but still, um, yeah, Swedish national football, the Swedish national football team is is way better than the uh, <laughs> the clubs. Yeah, so there we actually do beat both Norway and and Finland and Iceland and everything because we have Zlatan. Zlatan, woo, Zlatan, whoa, yeah, oof. But still, without Slatan, we, I think we could actually do good. And now, when Slatan is getting older, I mean, he won't be on the top of his career for like more than three more years. Uh, but now we have John Gudetti. He's he's about to uh, become big as well. He's playing for Manchester City right now. He's injured, but when he's healthy, he'll he'll get to, you know. He's a good player, actually. He'll hopefully he'll know how to become big yeah i don't know what's serial but okay yeah great we got some money let's buy this fucking sailing boat yeah yeah sailing boat great let's actually practice shooting why not <laughs> i will fail but still Oof. hey possible thank you so let's see. Actually, don't know how to do this. Really, it's it's really confusing in a way. Oof, hit the post at least. Maybe I'll have to, yeah, run around like this and then. Ah, oh, goddamn! The goalie is there. He knows how to handle this. Goddamn! Oops, missed it. Sorry. Oh no, not like that. I tried to shoot, but instead they passed three balls. God damn it! I'll never, I'll never become any better than this when it comes to shooting. Luckily, though, for me, I do have my shoes <laughs> helping me a little bit. Come on, look at this seriously. Oh boy, time up. Well, let's continue. Oh boy, I guess this is the last game for today because I'm getting tired. Kind of tired, yes. Oh, I'm banned. Let's continue practice then. Yeah. God damn it, let's practice heading because I actually have a chance here. Oof. 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 Almost. Yeah, success! That's great, let's do it again. Oh my god, look at this. How the hell is this supposed to be hard? Oops. I mean, it's just to do. All I need to do is this. Really. This is not hard. I mean, look at this. How the hell is this supposed to be hard? Oops. <laughs> you don't need, even need to use any angles. That's, that's silly. Yeah, let's skip this game. Okay, zero, zero. Come on. They can't do anything without me. Oh, we're going to Turkey. Yay. Like James Bond, we're going to to swim across that strait, whatever, whatever the name of it is, I can't remember. Let's play this game and then I'm done for today. Um, yeah, because why not play? If you want a girlfriend, make sure your relationship with your friends is good. Come on. I don't need friends, I have internet. I can find girls all over the internet, yes, especially when I'm a football pro. Indeed. I can upload video clips on myself. Saying, hello, I earn millions of euros every year. 
I play football. Yeah! I have lots of spare time to spend with you, my sweet yet-to-be girlfriend. Hopefully you enjoy football, football games, and games in general. If you do, or if you're just a nice person, please call me. No, don't call me. Wait, contact me on email and I'll send you my number if I feel that you are good enough for me. Yes, because if I, if I give out my number, you know, officially, then everyone will call. Then I get stalkers all over the place. You know, all of those fucking slatanistas. They will become like overlordnistas instead. They will do everything they possibly can to contact me. But I want some privacy. Or maybe I can just go to a fucking nightclub like Ronaldo and screw with whoever I find there. He actually did that and, and he did get a son due to it. Learn how to use a fucking condom, Ronaldo. Um, yeah, I don't know if you heard about that, but he actually paid the mother of the child. I think it was like 20 million dollars not to reveal her, her um, identity and to let him take care of the child all alone. That's fucking douchebaggy. I mean, of course she accepted because money talks, baby. That, that's the truth in most cases. But she, she still went out anonymously, I think you call it, it's called that, yeah, through her friends and, and said that she didn't feel good at all about it. And he's a fucking douchebag, I mean, how can you let a mother, how can, how can you stop a mother from meeting her child, or a father for that? But I mean, goddamn, take some responsibility, not for yourself, but for the fucking kid. Seriously. He's worse than Justin Bieber. Yuck. Yuck on both of them. On their personalities, he's a good footballer, but he's a goddamn diva. Ugh. I mean, at least Messi did get a child with a woman who is official. How could... I want to beat him. The one day, if I meet Ronaldo someday, in a nightclub or anything, I'll fucking punch him. Doesn't matter if I get thrown in jail for like two months. I can go out there and say, I punched Ronaldo. And I'll be the fucking hero of the football world, the same football world. Not the fucking Real Madrid fanboys. I don't care about the Barcelona fanboys, I care about normal, sane persons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Nice. I'm going to. If I can, then I'm going to punch him. If I can't, then I'm going to punch Beaver. I mean... Yeah. No. I'm not the punching person, I promise you. Oh boy. We're in the lead at least. That's great. We're going to win this game. That's also great. Indeed it is. Oops. Well, I'm going to skip the rest because nothing is going to happen here, honestly. Your horse Dreamboat has become ill. Do I still have a horse? I didn't know that. Well. Too bad for you, Dream Horse. Or whatever you call it, Dream Boat, maybe. Um, oh, Luxembourg, next. That's good. Can actually, maybe I can go horse racing a little bit. I just want to take care about my poor little horse. Hey, horsey! Horsey! Hey, horse! Let's treat you. Yeah! Let's race you! Yes! Let's not bet any money. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! Fucking cheating horse! Well, he's... Look at that silly fucking horse! Seriously! Shit! Oh yeah. Please, he wasn't lost. Let's race you again. Yeah, sure. Go! My god, my horse is fucking... Cheating all the fucking time. That's not nice. Oh yeah, but God damn it. I want the that horse. Oh yeah, I don't need any photograph. We all saw who won this race. At least I'm third. That's always something. Oh I got some prize money. Yay! That's nice actually. Let's race once more. Yes. Race. Oh yes, I'm in the lead. Not for long though. God damn it! Come on! Come on, Dream Horse! Oh no, he's losing. Shit! <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah! Applause! Applause for him! Ooh! Oh! Well, fourth. Well, could've been worse. Could've been worse. Okay, could've been worse, as I said. Um, I guess thank you all for watching this episode as well. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Hmm? I don't know. I, it's a bit rep repetitive, as, but as I said, it's not about the football, really. It's about talking. That's always nice. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you around, hopefully. So, yeah. Bye!